Okay, this section is on power models, and the form of a power function is y equals ax to the b, so it's just a one-term expression. In other words, the power function finds the power that best fits the data using only one term. Now, you can always add terms to this and maybe say plus some number or whatever, and I'll show you that on the Excel sheet, but this is... Uh, B right here, this B exponent does not have to be a whole number. For example, it doesn't have to be a 1 or a 2 or a 3 like a polynomial or a cubic or whatever type of thing. It could be x to the 3.756 power or whatever. So um, what we have here is uh, data points that we're going to use to find a power function of best fit for the cumulative cases of eight. And we have t equals zero is the year 1980. So this is 1981 through 1990. So this would be year one through year 10. So the x would be one through 10. And these would be my y values. And what I actually did is copied and pasted specialist text this data right here over just the y area. And then once I got that in, I typed in my years one through 10. After I got that into the power sheet, that's the sheet I'm on the power sheet, I clicked the get equation from data points button and it brought these values over here. And you can see this data fits the, um, uh, well, the curve fits the data points great. It comes very close to it. The correlation coefficient is 0.997. That's extremely close to one. So that means that this model is great for interpolation. Now, power functions are monotonic. That's a key vocabulary word with this, uh, this section. And monotonic means that the graph goes in one direction. Like this graph is going up, and that's the only direction it's going. It's going up. It's not going to turn around and come back down and you have max or mens or anything like that. It just keeps on going up. Or you could have this where this B here, let's say, was a negative number. If so, then the graph would be coming down and it would just continue to come down. It wouldn't, wouldn't come back up. So that's what monotonic means, just going in one direction. So we won't have questions about X and, uh, about, uh, vert, uh, vertex points or maximum or minimums. Now it's back to the stuff that we were with in, terms of linear equations, we could put in a, a y value and get a uh, x or put in an x to get a y. For example, if we wanted to use this model to predict the cumulative cases of AIDS in, uh, let's say, the year 2000, well, 2000 is 20 years after the base year, and that gives me an answer of 1,235,474. That would be extrapolation, and if we did uh, 10, for the year 1990, we see that it's pretty close to the actual number. Here it's 167,971. Here it's 170,851. So it's coming pretty close to the data points. And you can just start and end, and you can make tables of values. Uh, what I did was, uh, there's one other graph we've had so far that's monotonic, and that's a linear equation. A linear equation is also monotonic. Now if you compare this uh, correlation coefficient of 0.997, to the linear equation, and what I did is I put the points into the, the linear sheet as well, just for a comparison. You can see that the correlation coefficient here is 0.938. Still good, but not nearly as good as that power function. You can see that the line doesn't fit the data points as well. So the, uh, for this particular model, the power function does better than the linear model. And you can see here's the power, 2.87 power. So how's it going up for those years? Well, close to cubic but more than quadratic in between, 2.878. Now on this sheet, there's uh, areas farther to the right where you can do uh, power functions, put in the A, B, and C to graph power functions that have been shifted in some way. Uh, so like, for example, if we had a function, let's say uh, 2x to the 1.5 power plus 3, then that's the graph of that function. I can put in an x to get a y value or put in a y to get an x. And really, that is all there is to that section.